We are so excited. Moulin Rouge the Musical coming to Chicago March 19th. It's going to be here all the, all the way up until May. Uh, we have two of the stars here, Connor Ryan, Courtney Reed. They play Christian and Satine. Thank you so much for joining me today. <laughs> Thank you for, uh, having, for having us. Having us. So, uh, Courtney, first of all, we got to talk Chicagoland. You grew up in Elgin, went to school here in Chicagoland. Tell us a little bit about your journey uh, into theater and, and being from Chicago. Well, it started when I was a mouse in Cinderella when I was six years old. No, I'm just kidding, but not not really. Um, I, you know, I, I actually currently still live in Chicago. I live in Lakeview, so it's like I haven't left, but I have. Um, my my journey really started in in community theater and and then in high school and then and then the theater conservatory theater conservatory at the Chicago College before. Performing arts at Roosevelt University, which is a mouthful, um, and and I did a couple of uh, shows in Chicago before I booked my first Broadway show and moved to New York, and uh, and now here we are back back at the James M. Niederlander, and I couldn't be more thrilled. We we are thrilled to have both of you guys here. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the show. We've been waiting a long time. Obviously, you know, with everything going on in the world, there's been a couple little setbacks, uh, but excited for the tour to come here in Chicago. Uh, tell us a little bit about the company, uh, Connor, and you know, what's it like to be part of this, a show that's so anticipated. Oh my gosh, well, uh, getting to be a part of Moulin Rouge is a huge pinch me moment for me. I'm such a huge fan of the film and the creative team that came together to, to build the Broadway show is just an absolute dream. And then the co this company of performers that we get to work with, um, starting from the top, my gorgeous co-star and, and everybody that we get to share that stage with and off offstage, um, it's just such a wonderful family of performers. The talent is through the roof, obviously, but then on top of it, we all get along so well. Um, we're just, I, I really feel like I speak for all of us when I say we're, we're just so thrilled um, for this year ahead of us. Yeah, and and like happy to be in Chicago to kick it off. Happy to be in Chicago. You're here for a nice long amount of time because right. people, you know, whether it's spring break, the Easter holiday, Mother's Day, plenty of opportunities to come in and check out the show, especially if you don't live here. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the dynamic between the two of you. How did you both of you bond to play these two roles? I mean, was there meals? Was there things you had in common? Was there games you played? Like, what, you know, what was it to, like to get this chemistry? Do, 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 do. <laughs> we, we, we immediately bonded over our shared love of the HBO series, The White Lotus. But that's not the only thing we have in common. No, no I mean, we hit it off right right from the first second we met, I feel like. Yeah, we just, um, we, we often say we feel like we, we hit the jackpot with each other. So, but what kind of stuff do we do? Yeah. We go, we go have drinks, we go have meals. We do everything. I mean, we spend all day with each other and then, and then we're, when then we're texting each other, you know, after the whole day spent. How was last night? I'm not going to see you in, in in an hour, but like, so catch up, catch me up on life. You know, um, we we just we just love each other and um, I just feel so lucky. I think. Um, as an actress, you you hope and you dream for a co-star that's going to be so very open-hearted and um, uh, it's just so real with you. And 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 that's what I get with Connor. And and I got so lucky. We, we're lucky. We can't wait for the show to, to start here in Chicago land. I mean, obviously, people know the soundtrack uh, from the movie Lady Marmalade. I mean, obviously, oh. you hear those first couple of notes, and oh, yeah. you still. I mean, 20 years later, you're still kind oh, of yeah. you know bop, bopping yes. your head. I mean, even the original, you know, going back you know decades you know before that one. But let's talk a little bit about the music and the songs because it's not just the songs from the film, but they've updated it for for the stage version to include some new tracks. Talk a little bit about you know some of the new tracks and some of the songs you get to perform. Oh, go oh for gosh. it. Gosh, there's it. like Adele and Beyonce and Britney Spears and Lady Gaga and Katy Perry. Postal Service <laughs> and oh man, yeah, there's it's 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 awesome. It's it's like all all we 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 joke that this show has ruined the radio because whether you're in the grocery store or the train station, at every day I'm hearing songs that are in the show because they just chose such great popular music and it's a, it's a gift to get to sing sing these tunes it's, it's like going you know to a th getting a theater experience but also going to a, like a club you get to hear all your favorite songs at the same time as well too oh yeah it's the best of all worlds <laughs> <laughs> let's talk a little bit about the costumes tell us a little bit about getting fitted for them wearing them what you know what's it like wearing some of these iconic outfits well we, we, we're so lucky that this show actually existed previously so these costumes by Kathy Zuber have become literally iconic 
iconic. And so when I'm seeing myself in these costumes, I feel like, I feel like I'm I'm really Satine, you know, because Satine has already been established, and and not just the film, but the Broadway show, and and um, you know, the, there is not one bead or a button that has gone, you know, that is that is not intentional, and I think that goes with the rest of the show, with the set design and the creative team and the music and everything, but but the costumes are so lavish, and 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 really they spare no expense. What about for yourself? Oh, repeat the question. I don't know. I, I, yeah, the, the attention. putting on these yeah, iconic outfits uh, that we've got to see on stage. I mean, the attention to detail, and we, we, we you know, we're, we're still, I'm still like coming back down to earth from the high of, um, of being immersed in this set for the first time. We just got here a, a little over a week ago, and so we're still just drinking in the detail of the set and the costumes and the lights. It's just absolutely spectacularly beautiful the, um, the 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 design it's just everywhere you look there's just some gorgeous new little tiny detail to to uh, enjoy yeah mm -hmm. and speaking of I mean when you walk into the theater the you know I've had friends that have gone to see it in, in New York and usually people will post you know a photo like here's my playbill I'm at a show but everyone was posting photos of the stage because it is just incredible I mean you walk in and you're 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 it's not a, a theater show it's an experience yeah, it's an immersive experience. It's opulence. It's so lavish. It's so vibrant. It's so colorful. And if if you're a fan of Baz Luhrmann's film, then then you will see that um, set brought to life, and you will feel like you're literally inside of the the magic of the film. <laughs> Being a, a part of the theater community for for quite a time and seeing the awards that the show guy. I mean, with 10, 10 Tony Awards, Best Musical. I mean, there was such anticipation for this. Were you already a part of the touring company when, I mean, so, you know, with the delay with COVID and everything, did you know you were part of this when the show won all the uh, all the Tonys? Yeah, yeah. So it was really, really thrilling to watch. I was in California with my big brother watching the, with the Tonys. He's not really into theater, but he was excited to, you know, it's like our, it's like our Super Bowl, right? The, the Tonys. And, and he, uh, he, he, we had a blast knowing, you know, that I was going to get to be a part of this thing that just t this swept the awards. Yeah. Is your brother coming to the uh, to the show? Yes, of course. Yeah, in L.A. In, in L.A. Hopefully, you know, maybe he'll come to Chicago. We got a couple of days to try to convince him, you know, as well too. And the final thing here, uh, friends, family, everyone excited to come see you here, especially you know you being so local. Oh yeah, they're over the moon. They're over the moon. They don't have to get on a flight. Are you kidding? <laughs> Thrilling. Courtney Connor, thank you so much for your time today. March 19th, Moulin Rouge the Musical. Check out BroadwayInChicago.com for all those tickets.